Hey guys, my name is KSK Royal. Welcome back to this new video. This is a quick look at the upcoming Fedora 36 beta. By the time of recording this video, I have tested Fedora beta and shared my experience. The features or changes you may see in this video will remain the same or be updated in the stable release. And without further ado, let's get started. Now Fedora is known to be the first in the industry to use GNOME 42 as the default desktop in the Workstation Edition. GNOME 42 brings some visual changes and improvements to the GNOME Shell and Mutter Display Manager. From the start of using it, you may notice everything looks fresh and thanks to the better integration of GTK4 and Libadvata 1.0. Now this new framework brings a fresh new look to the GNOME applications. Most of the core applications you get to see in Fedora 36 are updated with GTK4. Along with that, you can find a new buttons, animations, icons, rounded corners, and subtle changes to the user interface. With Fedora 36, you get to see a new font known as Noto. So this will provide a better experience and consistent text rendering across the desktop. Take a look at all new settings. It has been updated to look more modern. Functionality wise, it's just the same, but the user interface is much cleaner and visually good looking. The auto layout mechanism has been strongly implemented for settings. Now this way, when you resize or expand the window, it dynamically changes the behavior of user interface. Fedora 36 with GNOME 42 brings a system-wide dark style. Now this new option is found inside the appearance menu. You can also access it from the desktop by right-clicking. Then from the context menu, we can choose to change the background. Now keep in mind, this won't work with every application until it's updated to GTK4. Now as of now, all the default applications and the GNOME shell looks fantastic with dark style. Thanks to the introduction of dynamic wallpapers in GNOME 42, Fedora 36 comes with its collection of dynamic wallpapers. Now these wallpapers will be updated based on the style applied to the system. The brand new Linux kernel 5.17 is about to release so soon. Fedora 36 is powered by Linux kernel 5.17. Now this kernel brings support to the new hardware stack which includes processors, GPU, storage, networking and some improvements to the file systems. It's time to say goodbye to the gedit which has been stirred for so long. With GNOME 42, you can find the replacement to gedit with a brand new text editor. The new default text editor looks very minimal and better looking. On the top bar, you can see all new updates which include new buttons, you can search for a file from the open drop-down menu, and you have an option to switch between light and dark modes. Also, these are the new color schemes that can be used to customize the text editor.
Some of the features of text editor include a line numbers, a dot is shown when the file is being edited. Now overall, I would say compared to gedit, GNOME text editor is more modern and very easy to use. When you press a print screen on your keyboard, it brings up a new screenshot UI. Now using this, you can capture the screenshot. For example, you can use a portion of the screen to be captured or take an entire screenshot. You can also use the Windows option to capture screenshots of any application running in the current workspace. Fedora 36 with GNOME 42 brings a built-in screen recorder. Now this way you can screen record the things you need to show and can be shared with others. It's not the best screen recorder compared to OBS, but as of now, the options are very limited. You cannot choose the encoder, adjust the frame rates, or anything. Now, some of the features of Fedora 36 include an RPM tool, you now only installs or recommend the dependent packages and upgrade. The internal RPM package database in the Fedora system is moving from var to user directory. Lastly, the valence session with NVIDIA drivers will work like a charm. Now, overall, I would say Fedora 36 is going to be rolled out on April 19. Now, if you are the one who wants the pure GNOME 42 desktop experience with the Fedora base, then it could be the ideal Linux distribution that could be used as a daily driver. And if in case you want to try it right now, then check the link in the description and download the Fedora beta and install it on your computer. And that's pretty much it. Now, if in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell icon to get notified when I post a new video. Also, if in case you have any suggestions, post them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KS Gear I'll see you in my next one. So depressed when I can't seem to get out But something deep